try this for dinner and I would be totally stoked. Yeah, so this is just one example. You can kind of customize the fillings how you like it, but um, they're really colorful, really fresh. They're kind of loaded with a lot of stuff. Her recipe right here is um, spinach, eggs, carrot, imitation crab, um, barbecue kimbap ham. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds like you can get it at a Korean market. Um, pickled radish and uh, uh, edible burdock root. Again, Korean market specific ingredient, but you, you get the picture. You can kind of customize it how you like. So um, you could put like bulgogi, which is Korean barbecue beef. Uh, you could put kimchi. You can, yeah, you can kind of do whatever. Oh man. I like spam in my kimbap. Yeah, spam would work totally. I know exactly what you're talking about. In the little styrofoam trays with plaster wrap. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. What's up, Zumo Kook? How are you? I didn't grow up in any form of Asian household, yet I grew up exploring Asian food like a crazed food lunatic. That's good. It's nice that you like took it upon yourself to do that exploration yourself, because I, I grew up in an Asian family, so my mom is Chinese. Um, I mean, American-born Chinese, but still Chinese. And uh, we grew up like with a lot of Asian influence, and so I was very lucky. And I grew up in San Francisco, which has a lot of immigrants, um, a lot of really good food. So I was lucky enough to be exposed to a lot of different kinds of Asian food during childhood. And I feel super bad for people who don't have that opportunity. So I love that you just took it upon yourself to be like, you know what, I'm gonna go explore this. And yeah, that's awesome. Spam is God tier. <laughs> I like spam. <laughs> I wanted more than basic white Asian buffet, so I went out and found it. Yeah, good for you. I love that. Especially with hot sauce. Well, yeah, but Adina said uh, like white Asian buffets, like not real. I, I assume you mean like, like not authentic Chinese buffets. Like there are some Chinese buffets that are legit, but that bastardized, westernized American buffet is so tasty. And I speak this as a Filipino. <laughs> In Hawaii, they have crazy flavors of Spam. Yeah, so I've heard. I I've seen some at the grocery store, but I've heard that Hawaii has like really crazy selection of flavors. I usually just stick to the regular or the low sodium. Um, I don't I don't usually get anything super crazy, but I, I think they have like a they have like a like a black pepper or peppercorn maybe maybe like a teriyaki um i don't know do they have like a barbecue one no that would be too weird yeah so ideally we want this rice like spread out okay we got two hours two hours to finish our rolls guys i have my eye on the clock hot and spicy is the way to go i haven't tried that flavor not in my childhood town, uh, there weren't. They were all super Americanized, nothing authentic in the hot bins. Yeah. Yeah, usually you'd want to spread this out a lot more. Like, you'd want to spread it out into like a very thin layer over a wide surface. So this is kind of not ideal. Maybe I should do two bowls. No, it's fine. I can't bring myself to uh, generate the extra dishes. It's cool. Y'all can pry my sweet and sour pork from my dead cholesterol filled dead hands. <laughs> I've been tempted to import Hawaiian spam. So tempted. Dude, I, I love like sweet and sour pork and like orange chicken and I love all that stuff. Okay. I'm not, I'm not hating. Have a drink of water? How about a drink of White Claw? Replenish the moisture. A friend brought me some back since uh, they know how much I love it. The General's Chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, Dardak. My apologies. Sorry, not sorry. Eh. Yeah, this rice is 
getting a little sticky. You're having a claw too? What flavor are you having? I'm having mango. Why claw <laughs> Hi, Wombat. Welcome. Welcome to the sushi showdown. Welcome to the sushi dome. Just had a lime, got the variety pack. Excuse me. Mango. <laughs> Dave. No, we're not. So I like to use this stuff. Did you say why I throw away no, Dave said, uh, I didn't realize we were getting half white girl wasted. I mean, I guess maybe half. Um, so I use this stuff, it's sushi seasoning. It's basically just a little bit easier for me. Uh, you can use like seasoned rice vinegar and add the sugar and do all that stuff, but I'm lazy and I just use this stuff because you just add this straight to the sushi. It's the lazy version, but it works. It's uh, sugar, vinegar, water, salt, rice vinegar, brown sugar. Yeah, so it's just, it kind of gives it like that sweet vinegary flavor. Um, and it's gluten-free. Five tablespoons on two cups of uncooked rice. We did three cups of uncooked rice, so we're probably gonna need probably at least six tablespoons. We'll, we'll start there and then we'll see uh, We'll see how it tastes. We'll just do it to flavor. Gotta pick up some more rice vinegar at Safeway tomorrow. I hope it's still five dollars. Nice. Yeah, I had to go to the Asian market yesterday to pick up some stuff for this. Okay, one. I gotta count, guys. Don't distract me. Two. Three. Five. No, let's do six. Can you see if he has to go to the bathroom? He might have to go potty. I have been corrected. A cat ate my sushi roller. What? How? The whole thing? Or like it chewed it up? Oh my goodness. That's horrible. All right. So I'm mixing in this uh, vinegar and sugar and salt mixture and just like getting all the rice evenly coated and like trying to break up all the clumps. I can't believe we're using rice and not ground raw sunflower seeds. This is not a very inclusive meal for me and my raw vegan diet. I said sushi inspired. But Dave, I, I am doing dessert sushi. So. And that, uh, oh, it's not raw, but, but it is vegan. He chewed it up. Apparently my sister's cat likes to chew bamboo and only bamboo. Aww, that sucks. So he ate the bamboo roller. I'm sorry. Well, you can you can get another one for pretty cheap. Like there's no way they're expensive. They're they're literally just like bamboo sticks you, and some rope. Do you need anything? We're gonna go out. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. More White Claw Summer? No. Um, I'm so sorry, Adina. I hope you can get another one. All right. So I, I don't want to leave this super warm. I want to um, try to cool it down. God, I'm almost tempted to buy like one of those rice thingies, um, like the rice cooling 
giant platters, but they're just so big, and I like I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have any.